Hi guys, um, this is a small little fail video that I'm going to be doing, it's not going to be a long one, it's going to be quite a short one, I'm not doing any missions or anything in this one. Uh, I just want to kind of show you a housing block design that I have kind of just discovered on my own in the last couple of days. I was watching one of my other fatal videos, the uh, Actium mission, and I saw a housing block, uh, well, kind of a housing loop type thing that I'd done, uh, and I wanted to expand on it, and it kind of works, so I want to show you. So let me just quickly show you a city that I just recently finished completing, which was Maidoom. And um, this is not the. Um, Right, so this is the mission that I was doing. So I don't know if you can really see this. If you can't, then let me know. But the I'm going to try and zoom this in probably just on here. So what I've got here is I've got housing basically in an L shape almost. So I've got what I've got is I've got a housing kind of going like this, uh, so as you can see with the cursor, it goes in a kind of a straight 90 degree line with two by two. And then at the bottom I've got bazaars, like so. <clears throat> um, and where the bazaar is, there's a loop that kind of goes back around the back of the housing. And what I put in the back bit there is like things like scribal schools, conservatories, things like that. Now these um, uh, shrines, so they are also to boost desirability of the uh, the housing because the desirability can be quite affected in this housing box that's why I've got statues around the back of them as you can see um, so the um, the shrines here are just to provide desirability to the houses in the inner part of the loop and um, so how do I go about this particular um, building style how do I construct it well I'm going to show you is the mission men affair I'm going to cut to it just now so this is as in Men Affair, so as you can see I've got the game slowed down at the minute, I'm going to just clear some roads. Now the way this housing block works is quite simple. I'm not going to really go through this mission too much, I'm just going to show you how it works. What I do is I go to where the edges of the grass tiles are, and then I just draw kind of a line in that direction. And then at the corner which I started at, I'm going to draw a line down like so. Now it can be variable length, I can either make it longer, I can make it shorter, but usually there's kind of an a kind of an average length. So then what I do is I take the houses, as you can see over here, um, you might not see that because I've cut off the side of it. Then I do two by two housing like so. Now I don't go beyond this point here where the bend is and then I do the same down here like so. So this is the housing. Now you can see I've left a space here. The purpose of that space will be come apart in a second. Then what I do is at the edges of the housing just here, I do a couple of tiles long, about three tiles length, like so, and at the third tile I then do a loop round the back like so. Now the purpose of that loop, uh, the, the purpose of that extra gap is to deliberately put in things like firehouses in architect's posts, but the little 2 by 2 that is here I can put in things like juggler school, and I can also put in, if we just drop a village palace down somewhere just for the heck of it, I can also put the tax collector in that corner there. So that's kind of the general layout of this loop. And um, so you might be thinking, okay, where does the water supply go? It goes just here, like so. Now you can see that there's only one tile gap for the, the roads to go out to the main thing. So what I do is I then do, it depends on the map itself. If it's going towards the sea, the Nile, then like that, then I would draw the house like that. But uh, the line like that, and then I put a roadblock there. Now the roadblock is obviously there just to make sure that people stay inside the loop and they're providing the services, they're not wandering off all over the place. Um, but depending on where this housing block is located, I might just leave that as being there and have everything go off this tiny little tile here to provide housing, which I don't really do, to be honest, um, because there's no point in that. Now, at this point, I then build a bazaar there. We can just like that, and then what I do is I build a granary there, and then put an extra one tile there. And I set this to get stuff, because the two bazaars will be able to reach that without a problem. The guy, the person here can go up and round and get the food. Now the way the loop works, it means that anyone coming along here will get pretty much everything. Now you might be wondering from this point, well how does it get things like entertainment? That's what the point of this back loop here is. Everything like, uh, from things like um, 
temples and um, bandstands or pavilions depends and um, bandstands dentists apothecaries uh, physicians they just go around the outer edge here so depends on the number of gods obviously if I have lots of gods available then I might have to try and be conservative but then what I do is as you can see there's now a gap between the road and the housing all I then do is flood it with statues now you're going to notice that there's a gap um, being left here the reason I've not put anything there is because um, that's considered too far away from a road so if I wanted to I could put in like a statue or a bit of grass tile or something. But that's my housing block guys. I hope it's helpful. And obviously um, if I wanted to go on to do more I could then just move over to somewhere over the side and then do the same thing. And the way this housing block works, depending on the mission you could make it a star style block, um, housing block. So if I show you Vedette, so as you can see here I'm on Vedette. As you can see here, with the way that this map is constructed, I actually built, I expanded this loop that I had. So here's the the loop here. This is the original loop, is this bit here. But then what I did is because of the way the map's built, it's quite small, you've got everything quite crowded around each other. I then expanded it up round like so, and just basically created a star, almost. A star shape of this, or a T or a cross or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, it depends on the mission. Um, obviously, if you're on a mission which allows you to get up to fancy residence, then the L shape that I showed you will get you about 2,000 people if you fully evolve them. Um, but obviously, if you're limited, like you are in Bidet, to modest apartments, then you may have to use this star shape, or this cross X, whatever. It does work, because I've completed multiple missions with this block, so it works. Um, so, hopefully it's helpful. And I can't give you much more tips, just kind of build the way you feel you can with it. So I hope this video was helpful to you and I'll see you in another video. Bye now.